All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Swamp Stomp. I'm Mark and this is Danny. And today we're gonna go do a little bit of scouting and show you some of the things that we look for uh, preseason. Now because you're watching this video, I'm just going to take a wild guess and say that you're probably pretty excited about deer season coming up soon, just like we are. And you might be thinking about getting yourself a new tree stand, and we just happen to be giving away a Summit Viper SD tree stand. This is a $350 tree stand that Danny and I both use and absolutely love. And all you have to do to be able to win it is click on this link right here and drop a comment on that video. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to go see if we can find a uh, new area to grow our meth at. Oh, oh yeah, our new meth lab. You know, we gotta we got to monetize this channel somehow. Oh. So, oh, you nobody buying shirts, nobody uh, subscribing, so we're just going to have to sell meth. I found out. Um, <clears throat> this is our dealer right here. I found out. <laughs> That little spot right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no coming back this way. <laughs> Ultra sketch. This is the sh to deal with. Ooh. I'm sure when they made this story, they planned on elephants crossing here. Ooh. Ooh, buddy. That was almost the end of Alex. That gator would be ready to eat your ass. I bet. So, I think right now we're just basically trying to get a feel for the land and seeing what kind of habitat we have out here. I think that's like a new area we've never been out here before. Yeah. But as you can see, we're on the edge of uh, some pretty tall palmettos, and it's really easy for the deer to move through this. So There's a lot of space in between the palmettos as well. Yeah. Really, if you're hunting it, you'd have to get mile high on these uh these pine trees to even be able to see them my concern with this stuff is like i feel like it's really attractive to most people because it's so easy to move through it because i'm th i'm trying to think of like a bedding area you know and well, like, i mean i can't see them bedding in them I sh the bucks will bed under the palmettos they'll get into the shade of the palmettos and they'll buck they'll bed there yeah for sure um the only thing is that going through there and trying to scout it you're not going to find a whole lot of sign yeah, because it's dry, it's like dry just like this, it's like, it's not really going to leave a lot of tracks. It's going to be hard to, like, it's it's a maze, you know, yeah. there's like so much of the same habitat and it all looks the same, so it's like, how do you pick through that and figure out where the deer want to be? Yeah. So. We just keep going and look for some, uh, I think it's, down I trails. think it's like a good area, but I think maybe the idea of looking around it to try and find an area that they're using to like get in and out of there is maybe a better idea. Oh, oh, oh. That's all through here. There's some good tracks right there. This. Yeah. That's a big track, though. Super fresh tracks. I'm big. Is that a big mm -hmm. track? Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely used a lot. We're actually scouting in an area that we hunt a lot and people get in this mentality of having like their tree, like their spot. And then every single year they just keep coming to that spot and they don't bother to like scout or anything like that. But we hunt that area every year and it's not because it was good one time, it's because we put cameras out there and we scout a whole bunch of other areas and that spot's just usually the most productive. So we end up in the same area, but we know that one year that's not gonna be the case. So we're always scouting, trying to find new areas so that uh, we have other options. Also, in case you guys find our spot and steal it. Snaps off. Hmm? Snaps off. 
Hello? Oh. Camera. Oh. Jeez. If you like talking about deer hunting and scouting techniques, then you're probably going to love the podcast that Danny and I just finished recording with our buddies over at Chasing Tales Outdoor Podcast. And you can check out their YouTube channel, and it's down in the description. And I'll also put a link for the podcast itself and the episode that we just recorded where we talked about pretty much all the techniques and theories that we have about hunting whitetails in South Florida. So make sure that you check that out. Earlier when I was over here, I saw a buck standing out here pretty far out. I just walked out here. There's a whole bunch of tracks, but also there's like this whole side of the road is all freshly rooted up by hogs. It's surrounded by these pretty low palmettos. This is an excellent bedding area. And there's tracks and beds all over the place. So in a video I put out last season, I was talking about uh, five tips that I like to follow to find a good spot to, to shoot a deer. And uh, one of the things I point out is find a really well beaten path. One that's really easy for deer to travel because especially in the beginning of the season when they're not really scared of getting shot, they're gonna take the easiest route they can get. So this is kind of exactly what I'm talking about. This is like an old buggy trail. You can tell like there is usually water in here during the wet season. So uh, there's not a whole lot of plant growth. And as you can see, there's tons of hog rooting. And this hog rooting, there's one way, like there's a few ways to tell that it's fresh. But one of the ways you can tell it's fresh is that these plants, you can see they've been rooted up but they're still alive like and they're still broken they haven't started regrowing yet so if it's older these plants will start growing again and you'll see little plants sprouting out so this is really fresh probably done within the last week and it literally goes up this entire road so this is a really great spot to put up a camera that's exactly what we're gonna do this hog rooting kind of comes to an end right here this is like the last of it which in my mind means that they basically are starting down there. They're working their way this way. So I'm expecting the most recent activity to happen here. Now there's a little crossing here. There's a trail over there. It's not as heavily used, but it's still a trail. And there's one that goes that way too. So another reason that this is a potentially great spot, aside from the fact that I saw a buck, the, I mean, the seeing the buck, that just kind of made me come in here and look. But now that I'm seeing the area, I'm really seeing that it's good habitat for a deer. So we got this easy to walk trail that can move through here really like quietly and efficiently, but it's just surrounded, completely surrounded by, um, <clears throat> by bedding areas. So this is all palmettos, but sometimes you'll find palmettos that are like really tall. And that's not good because you want a, a deer to be able to like put their head up and look out over the top of the palmettos. So when, when the plants are too tall, they can't do that. But this stuff is, is pretty short. You know, it's maybe like chest high. So, you know, deer can lay down anywhere in here and you wouldn't be able to see them unless you walked right up on them. And, uh, you know, if they want to see what's going on, they hear something, they just stick their head up. They can see everything. So this is a really great spot. So we're pretty excited to be out there scouting again and getting ready for season. And on top of the two cameras that I put out in this episode, we've got a few other ones out, including some new gear that we got, uh, which is the Spy Point Cell Link, which is basically like a little module that you can hook up to any trail camera, which will turn it into a cellular camera so you can get pictures sent straight to your phone. And we've already been getting some pictures of deer, so we know that they're working. And pretty soon we're going to be doing a little review on that particular item so make sure you stay tuned for that and we'll also put up uh, the pictures that are coming from these spots that we scouted in this video uh, in the next video or a couple videos from now so if you want to see uh, you know if our scouting paid off make sure that you're subscribed and that you've clicked that little bell so that you get a notification when we put out new content and with that I'd like to thank everybody for watching Swamp and Stomp and we'll catch you guys next time